Morel mushrooms. They're popular in Missouri because they're easy to identify and delicious to eat. But a word of caution, make sure you can identify morels before eating them. There are some mushrooms that are poisonous and can be deadly. So if you're a beginner, play it safe. Either tag along behind an experienced mushroom hunter or take a good reference book along on your hunt. Morels are also known as sponge mushrooms because their top or cap looks something like a sponge with a shape similar to a tiny Christmas tree. Three species are commonly found in our area, so morels will vary in color from gray to tan or yellow. They come in a variety of sizes, but most average three to four inches tall. The stem is thick, and when sliced, the whole mushroom is hollow. You should never eat a raw morel or any mushroom. They should be thoroughly cleaned and cooked first. And on your first morel eating experience, don't eat a large quantity. Some people may be allergic even to the edible morels. Now there are several tricks to becoming a good mushroom hunter. It's as simple as knowing when and where to look. I know, simpler said than done. But the advice of expert mushroom hunters, along with folklore, can be helpful. Well, sometimes anyway. In late spring and early summer, watch for morels growing on the ground. They've been known to pop up as early as February and as late as June. Here's some ideas on the best time to find them. Look for them the day following a warm rain when the average daily temperature climbs into the 50s, maybe when May apples bloom, or three weeks after hepatica blooms, when big crappie begin biting, or when oak leaves are in the mouse ear stage, or even when oak leaves are as big as a squirrel's ear. Locating morel mushrooms is similar to an Easter egg hunt. You know there's something out there. It's just a matter of finding those hidden treasures. And much like anglers who keep their best fishing holes a secret, don't expect other mushroom hunters to share their prime locations with you. So if you're a beginner, you might ask an experienced mushroomer to go out with you on your first try to help you get started. The best location? will look for morels in moist woods, river bottoms, and on south-facing slopes early in the season, then north-facing slopes later on. They're often found near elm trees. The older the better, and recently dead the best. Also, try locating morels near ash, basswood, or cherry trees, in old orchards, burned areas, or recently logged areas. And if that doesn't work, just do like many and wander about aimlessly. Yeah.